me to get the most out of myself in a healthy way is a very appealing idea. And I think that's what Ed Whitlock did. He got the most out of himself in a healthy way. And I say, well, do I, does that mean I have to run three hours a day? He ran pretty good off an hour and a half a day. His baseline was an hour a day. And he built up that tsunami, that big wave of fitness and health by gradually increasing his easy running to a point where I, I think he had this this fitness built into him. He could take time off and, and, and come back and start running an hour a day right away. And that's, that's pretty good, you know. That's really good. So, what's the minimum for the Ed Whitlock type training to work? I don't know. I think it's going to be different for different people. But the, the principles are do as much running as you can at a real easy pace. Don't, and when I say easy pace, I hate, I hate to use the word pace. Don't worry about your pace. Don't worry about the distance. When you're running, just think about the time. And so if you're feeling a little tired, you know, to complete the goal, if you slow down, guess what? The goal gets easier. Paces and distances aren't like that. They're the opposite. If you're feeling tired, they get longer and harder. You know, you got to slow down. If you're measuring the distance, it's going to take longer. But what do you, what do most people do? They pick it up when they get tired so they can finish the distance. Something like that, you know. Or they have they don't want to walk the last piece of the route. Anyway, this is one of the genius, the, maybe the most important part of Ed Whitlock's training. He took the the tendency to go go and and run easy runs too hard. He he fixed that by saying, I don't run distances, I don't run paces. I just try and run for a certain amount of time. And that's that's like that's like the double blind study, whoever came up with that. You know, it's intrinsic. We are goal oriented people. So you make the goal something that is bulletproof, is foolproof. The goal the goal can't really overstress you. I, I mean I've ran I've ran incredibly slow and look at the watch and feel good about it. I go, okay, another five minutes. I can do this for five minutes, you know. And I feel good about it when I'm done with the workout. It isn't like I'm worried about, you know, uh, the pace, the average pace or whatever. I have no idea what it is. And I think that's where, that's that's like the genius, one of the genius, maybe the main genius part of Ed Whitlock. There's a happy person. All right, here's Mapleton and adios amigos.